Today I'm wearing the sweater I just finished yesterday. I still need to hem it. I'm really bad about that, especially when it's stuff that I know I tuck in 90% of the time. I usually just like surge the bottom and don't hem it, but I need to get out of that habit. And then I'm wearing my Picnic House Supply linen uh, skirt, which I just love. It's so comfortable. Love this fabric so, so much. And then I'm wearing my Irving socks, which is a pattern that I designed a few years ago. I know you're not supposed to have favorite children, but this is my favorite sock child. <laughs> Irving socks on Ravelry. spam collars huh yeah what'd you do it's fun. well I, I i started uh sounding like an old person at first because that just gets them to play along because they're like praying praying on, old on people. Old, yeah. yes uh and then like um he wanted all like <laughs> why are fifty thousand dollars to no no he was pretending to be like uh, pretending to be the social security administration or whatever and it's like um you know, wants you to give all this personal information, but I just pretend to be an old person and like can't hear him, and then like that that gets him frustrated. So he's like, "You need to give me your information now, or I'll, uh, you know, get the police. There's warrants for your arrest." And I'm like, but then I like start fake flirting with him. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> he's like, oh, "The police are going to come for you," and I'm like. Yes, come for me. Come for me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to have them take you into uh, custody. I was like, yes, have them take me into custody. <laughs> so we are taking my beautiful coffee table outside and downstairs to re-sand it and then restain it because my love accidentally spilled something that stripped the stain off of it right there and I like freaked out and I was it's like one of my most precious objects if you didn't know Andrew made this coffee table for me in our early days of dating and it's one of my most precious material possessions and he promised he would fix it so he's fixing it today Whew, I'm nervous While Andrew restains or sands and restains my coffee table I'm going to decorate the outside of the apartment building. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. We have finished putting out the decorations on the front and have finished sanding my beautiful coffee table. And now Andrew is going to go get um, rollers so that we can restain it and then take it back inside once it's aired out and dried. Turns with rollers, the stain, and I am a nervous wreck. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> I'm scared. That looks so dark. The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day in the morning. Look at these crisp. 
Christmas hams. I've just been uh, cleaning up the house. Andrew and I have been tidying up and I put some batteries in those um, battery operated faux candles and put those in the living room. I'll show you those in a second. And yeah, just some general weekend admin. We decided we want to work on a puzzle. Our contenders were this uh, New York one that I have and a Harry Potter flying keys one. This one looks more difficult for sure. So I think we're gonna do this one. Looks fun. So our puzzle strategy is to start with the edge pieces first. So we sort through all of the puzzle pieces to take all the edges and then put the outside edge together first. And um, I think we're gonna start the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. Both of us have been wanting to read that book and uh, Andrew has the audiobook. So I think we're going to listen to the first one in that series. There's like 13 books or something like that I wanna say, there's quite a bit. Um, it's a fantasy series, and yeah, so I think we're gonna start the first one and listen to that while we do the puzzle together. All the bells on earth shall ring on Christmas Day on Christmas. Oh, the house is nice and tiny. We got a lot done in our puzzle. It always feels like these little accomplishments. I love puzzles because you get like these little wins along the way. Um, I think right now, Andrew's playing some video games. I think I'm going to take a bath. I hardly ever take baths. I'm not really a bath person, but whenever I do take them, I'm in there for like five hours. I feel like I take a long one. So I'm gonna take a little bath and light some candles and get a bath bomb and do the whole thing and like read a book maybe. We'll see. <laughs> souls on earth shall sing on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. And all these souls on earth shall sing on Christmas Day in the morning. Then let us all rejoice again on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Then let us all rejoice again on Christmas Day in the morning. I saw many ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw Ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. I have to. No, it's 3 a.m. Oh, really? Yeah. So we stayed up until 3 a.m. watching movies. We only intended to watch one. What was the first one? Oh, we watched uh, Big, Big Fish, Fish first. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Midnight in Paris, the Woody Allen movie, just like. Yeah, that's that's this cry movie. That's your sad movie. Um, all of a sudden, Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris started playing, and you're not a big Woody Allen fan. And I no. actually have not seen any Woody not, Allen not movies. Not a Woody Allen fan. So, but I'm obsessed with all things France right now. So I was like, oh, we're gonna watch this. And turns out this movie is fantastic, fantastic. If you've not seen it, I liked it. Luke Wilson, the main character, travels back in time into Paris Wait, in the 1920s. Is that Luke Wilson or Owen Wilson? Owen, Owen Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Owen Wilson. I travels had to check. yes. <laughs> <laughs> travels back in time to the Paris in the 1920s and encounters all of these like writers and artists like Ernest Hemingway, Salvador Dali, Pablo Picasso, Gertrude Stein. Like it was so cool. I loved the concept. Mm -hmm. So so good. So yeah, I really love it. It's probably like one of my favorite movies of all time, I think, after just seeing it once, just because of the topic and the setting. 
yeah. So, all right, we're going to go to bed now, but I had to share that with you. And it's 3 a.m. and we're really gonna regret this because we have to go to Strand tomorrow morning early. Sleep, even we'll, if... we'll live. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we're saying goodnight. <laughs> Bye.